Why does the grass in Ghosts of Tsushima look so good? To achieve their goal of creating a painterly look, Sucker Punch Studios originally went for traditional grass cards early in their prototyping phase, but it wasn't practical for the amount of grass density that they wanted to achieve. Overdraw was a big problem, and they wanted to render lots of grass that interacts with the wind. So, Sucker Punch chose to render their fields by generating individual blades of grass on the GPU that can each have their own procedural appearance and animation. The grass is procedurally generated based on a number of techniques. Firstly, they chop the world up into tiles. These tiles contain a suite of textures that determine the height of the terrain, the material to render the terrain as, and most importantly, what type of grass goes there. Each grass type has a number of different parameters available for artists to play with, such as its height, width, tilt, and color, and each type of grass has a different set of parameters. I want to note that the grass geometry isn't created manually by artists in 3D software. Instead, each grass blade is built procedurally based on a bezier curve and its grass type parameters. Then, using a compute shader, the position of the grass blade is determined by the shader and then randomly offset to add variation. Then, two techniques called distance and frustum culling are applied to exclude calculating blades of grass that are out of view of the camera. From there, the grass geometry samples from the assigned textures in the tile to determine its grass type and height depending on its position in the tile. Normally to add variation to procedural grass, you can add random height values to make it look a little messier. Wheel grass isn't simply just random heights though. If you look at grass in real life, it grows in clumps, where taller grass clumps are just a result of the soil most likely having a higher nitrogen count in the area, which can even affect the color of the grass as well. Ghosts of Tsushima mimics this by using a procedural noise algorithm to collect grass blades in an area into clumps and influence their various parameters like height, color, and direction to mimic this grass clumping that you see in real life. Grass blades come in two different versions, a high detailed version of about 15 vertices and a lower detailed version of 7 vertices. To avoid LOD popping when switching from high to low and low to high, the grass LOD blends from high to low as it nears its change point by shifting its vertices. Pretty cool. This makes the transition between the two LODs much smoother, especially on grass that is being heavily curved by the wind. Ghost of Tsushima also uses a smart optimization technique to make fields seem fuller. If the grass blade is short enough, it would be a waste to remove the geometry. So instead, the grass blade gets folded in the middle to create two blades of grass to make areas of short grass seem twice as dense for zero cost. Super cool trick. In Tsushima, the wind does the majority of the animation for the grass. The wind itself is just powered by a simple 2D Perlin noise texture and scrolled in the direction that the wind is blowing. The scrolling noise determines the power of the wind at any given point and affects the bend of the grass. Combining this with adding a simple bobbing animation to the grass by using a sine wave and then blending that with the animation from the wind, you get very realistic grass movement. Since the grass is created procedurally, each animation is slightly different for each and every piece of grass. In real life, blades of grass aren't just flat faces, they're slightly curved. Normally to recreate this, you would have to add extra vertices to curve the blade down the middle, but this would literally double the amount of vertices that your GPU has to render. So to get around this, Ghosts of Tsushima uses curved normals to give each blade of grass that naturally rounded look. This trick is a much cheaper option and definitely something I'm gonna be adding to my own grass in the future. Here's another cool one. Sometimes in games when you look at blades of grass at the right angle, or the wrong angle, the grass looks way too thin, almost like looking at a piece of paper from the side. To get around this and to make the grass fields fuller, Tsushima also shifts grass blades that are orthogonal to the camera to face the camera slightly, which subtly thickens the grass blades from the user's perspective. The various other foliage, like the spider lilies and the iconic pompous grass, are procedurally distributed in a similar fashion to the grass, where its parameters are determined by the tile each asset is spawned in. Unlike the grass blades, which are built procedurally based on a curve bezier function, these other foliage are built by hands by artists and then procedurally distributed. One of Sucker Punch's biggest grass challenges was how to handle LODs at very far distances. Since there are several spots on the island of Tsushima where you can see the entire island all at once, rendering each blade of grass from miles away is unnecessary and extremely expensive. So instead of rendering millions of blades of grass and its other foliage, all of the foliage is first removed and replaced with an artist's authored texture 
that's rendered at far distances instead of the underlying material to mimic large fields of grass and whatever other foliage exists in that area. So yeah, grass is pretty cool.